Hey YouTube, um, this is something I had trouble with at first, and I wish, I don't know, I'm surprised there's not more guides about this exact thing on YouTube. But, I'll show you how to put custom splash images in your Guitar Hero 2. It's really easy. If you've watched any of my other videos, they're using the exact same two programs, Guitar Hero Explorer and Milo Explorer. So, it's really simple. Um, not much to it, but I'll I'll just show you. All right, so let's see here. First, I'm gonna open up Guitar Hero Explorer. <coughs> Excuse me. And you open it fully. Want to go to I believe config G N. Wait, sorry, sorry, that's wrong. U I is it any? no no no. Whoops, I'm sorry. Here we go. So it's okay. I'll just go back out. UI GN. Scroll down. As I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, the main menu and the press any button screen. So let's start with the main menu. Main dot Milo underscore PS2. Alright. Here we go. And you can see if I click on main menu dot text. That's texture. I've already put my own custom one in, but I'll uh, replace it again just to show you. All right. So, let me go into my custom images. Um, and I forgot in my last video of, of putting uh, images over guitars, I had forgotten to put the link for the, uh, hold on, for the Score Hero post in the uh, description. So I'll definitely, whoops, starting session. I'll definitely do that in this one. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's see, push it, I'm not yeah, push the custom game images. Alright. So now I've already done this one and this one. Let's replace these. Let's do guitar villain. That was funny. Some big guitars. And here we go. Just save it. Um save image as and I don't know, I wish I could just tell it to save it as a uh as a bitmap right off the bat because so you gotta put it in. So if your computer doesn't save as bitmap like mine or whatever, just open with I just do paint and then paint. Just don't change anything, just do file save as twenty four bitmap save. And then here's my bitmap that I just made and just trash the other one. Alright, so there's let me just get my uh press new button screen too. I think there's one that goes with this. Yeah, right here. Alright, well, oh yeah, I was right there. Look at that. There we go. Splash poster. Clean up. Alright. Yo, I'll do the exact same thing with this one. Just make it a bitmap, because that's all the PS2 will like is a bitmap. Splash poster. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I was just thinking I could edit that myself, because it's all white up here. Anyway, back on subject. Um, okay, save. I see. I couldn't tell which. Okay, this one's not good now. Okay, so I've got my two images here now. Oh, and by the way, I'm aware that like when I put post these videos on YouTube, uh, the top and bottom is black and it's kind of hard to make out. It's pretty impossible to make out letters and stuff. I think it's because I've got a widescreen uh, monitor, so that makes it a little bit harder. Um, so. Maybe at some point I'll change the resolution. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh my god. Anyway. So I've got my two pictures here. Now. It's our hair explorer. I want to export main.milo underscore ps2. Or extract. Like I did in the last video. Extract. Alright. Main. Just save it as main to your desktop. Or wherever you'll remember to get to. And this, this is just the main menu. So. The, uh, the splash poster is in there too. But. Okay, so you just go Milo Explorer, open Milo, and as you can tell, this is already very similar to uh, putting custom guitar skins in. So, you go to text, not text, text, and then main menu dot text. And this is my image that I put in here, but right click, replace, scroll down. And I wish I wish they would release a version of uh, Guitar Hero Explorer that had. Uh, I had this built right into it. 
but not yet. So, just say yes. And there you go. That's the main menu. You don't have to save or anything, just click out. Go back into Guitar Hero Explorer, and maybe you know the drill by now, maybe you don't. Right click, and then replace. Replace it with the main.mile that you just edited. Yes. Gotta let it do its thing. Come on. Um, and when you when you put these in, I believe that the guitars are the same way. They're not gonna show up right when you put them in. You have to close that guitar explorer and go back in, and then they'll show up. All right. So main dot mile, your new main menu is added. Click out of that. Go down to splash. Wait, splash. Splash.milo underscore PS2. Click right into that. There you go. Now scroll down. Splash underscore poster dot text. And then right, yeah, same thing. Just right click, extract, save your desktop. Milo Explorer. Open. Oh, and you can get rid of your own old main dot mile. Splash dot mile. Text again. Splash underscore poster dot text. There it is. Right click again. Replace. Find your bitmap. Oops. Make sure you set it to bitmap for each time because you don't have any text files. I doubt. Splash poster. Yes. Convert it to a text, and there you go. Same drill. Just. Click on splash.milo and turn here explore, replace. I don't know why that one's faster, but it is. Now watch, exit out of this. I can get rid of these two images. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do that. I don't whoops. Yeah, I want this bit now. Okay. I'll put these in my images folder for later, just in case. And uh you can get rid of that. Go back into Guitar Hero Explorer. Go back to where it was, UI, GM. And as you can see, where is it? Oh my god, where is it? Main.milo. Main Guitar Villain. And. Wait. So it's it. I don't. You just have to reset it, and then you're all set. And uh, yeah, just follow a regular burning process and everything else. That's it. Questions and comments are very appreciated, so I can know what the hell I'm doing wrong. All right. Thanks for watching. See. You.